Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is a bit of a hodgepodge video, I think. I am going to be working on a couple of areas here in my kitchen and then I'm going to be doing a teeny tiny little haul and then I will be answering about three questions that I've gotten. One of you had asked me if I could start answering questions after, like at the end of my videos, which would be wonderfully fine, and I would be glad to do that every now and again, but I just need to have more questions. <laughs> so what I'll say is if you have any questions that you would like me to try to answer, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will copy them down and put them on a sticky and then answer them in an upcoming video. So. <laughs> But let me do a little explaining here in, about my kitchen here. Uh, got my big tripod here. This thing is a behemoth, let me tell you. Okay, here we go. Let's see. There we go. You can see I use, I'm going to be using the Pioneer Woman. I bought these blue and white with red roses Pioneer Woman plates. Oh, last, going into the summer, I guess, to to bring in to put with my blue and white decor i found them at walmart i love them and i love the pop of red i have a red lantern over here that i call my then sings my soul lantern and it is a red lantern so i love having having a pop of red in my decor somewhere but if you guys have been following my series you know that i've been doing a kind of a blue and white with a burnt orange a pop of burnt orange in my uh, fall decor and that's how I will continue once I leave the kitchen. But here in the kitchen proper, so to speak, I am going to be adding a pop of red to go with these plates. And as you can see, for those of you who didn't see the video when I showed these, I bought these chargers, they're, they're blue chargers, and Chris glued my plates onto the chargers with Gorilla Glue, with what he called Gorilla Glue. So, I have two of these in these windows, and then I have one over by my Then Sings My Soul Lantern. So what I'm gonna be doing in this video, the, de the decorating part of it anyway, is I'm gonna just be adorning my windows for fall uh, just by adding a few things here and there that I will show you. And then we're gonna go over to the Then Sings My Soul Lantern, and we're gonna add a little something to the funky bow topper I have there. And then from there, we'll move over to the island and I'll do my little haul and my questions, answer my questions, okay? So let's move down here. You set my mouth right with this tripod here. Okay, and look at the glare coming in that window. So hard. These are my most challenging videos with these, with these big windows, y'all. It really, they really are a challenge. Let me see if I can put you down a little bit, if that would okay. help. Okay. As you saw, I just took this off of, and this is just a plain old, you know, picture holder. So I'm just gonna set that in there and put it right back up here in this corner. And I want the red roses kind of at the top. As you look at this plate, the Pioneer Woman, I think she meant for the, for the flowers to be down around the bottom but I like it at the top. I don't know why, that's just the way my, my eye likes it. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this blue ball here. Danielle sent me, Danielle, Danielle's decor sent me six of these beauties, bless her heart, from Cracker Barrel. So I have them sitting around, so I'm gonna keep the ball right there. This is a milk glass candlestick that I got from the Minuteman Mini Mall over there in Culpeper, Virginia. This little uh, solar <laughs> cardinal was given to me by one of you guys, and I just love her, and her, she's a little dusty right now, goodness. And then, you can see here, I have a pumpkin. Let me pull this closer to you, and I will show you how I did this, because I'm gonna do the same thing in the window 
across, you know, down from this. But this is a red pumpkin. I found this at Hobby Lobby and a picture holder. These count this as part of my haul, you guys. This is part of what I bought the day I went shopping. But I just, I'll show you how I did it. I just attached it with a pipe cleaner. So that's going to go right there in that corner. And I had this little Pioneer Woman plate sitting in this corner. So I just kind of scooched it over. That was Chris's idea. Actually, I was gonna put those plates away, these little ones away. He said, why put them away? He said, why don't just put them, you know, at either corner in the middle window. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna mirror that window down there to match this window here. But I wanna do a little something with this vase here in this window. You can see here I have a little red, this is just like a plastic red pumpkin. So, and it matches the red of these pumpkins and the red in the flower and the plate. And I got this at AC Moore. And you know what, I don't even know how much I paid for it, but it wasn't very much, but it was half price. 50%, oh, maybe, hang on, $2.99. There we go, sorry, I left the tag here for myself. $2.99, 50% off of that. Because the fall stuff is 50% off in at Hobby Lobby, or not Hobby Lobby, in at AC Moore. So, let me, Point you up here. I'm gonna pull down this vase and I'm not gonna take the ivy out of this vase, you guys. I'm not gonna do it. I wanna leave the ivy in and I wanna leave the red rose in. But what I wanna do is I wanna add some fall as, you know, elements. I bought these at, I bought these at Hobby Lobby and these are just kind of dark red leaves. And I have two tufts of those, and I bought these at, these are kind of, what are these? I don't know, it never says. I wanna say like, I think Stacy called them hops, but I'm not sure what they are. But I bought those in, that, in the same red. So what I wanna do is just simply add some of these leaves to the mix here. I really just want to put it kind of right in the middle. One. I really don't want a ton, y'all. Just a little something. Oh, that was good, Arlen. Let's just tear it up. Just a little something to say, oh, it's fall. Things are, the leaves are starting to change. Oh, look. Yeah, we still have a little ivy hanging around, but, you know, that's about it. Now, we also, I also found these at AC Moore, but y'all, I bet you can guess what I'm gonna do. I do not like this color with the ivy or with those leaves. I don't like that color, I'm sorry. That to me just pulls my eye right away. So I'm gonna cut the leaves off and I'm going to stick one up in the top like that. It's just not one of my favorite colors. And that's just me. That's just me being picky, you know? And I think I want the other one. I'm gonna follow this. Kind of, um, actually I might come over here this time. Do that. Okay, let me set it up in the window and see how it looks up in the window. Yeah, I don't want tons and tons. And again, I wanna be able to come around and just go boop, 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 boop. Okay, I've deconstructed fall, you know. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this plate and pull it right around the corner here. Watching out for my little lady who's still washing the floor. Boy, she's been busy, hasn't she? <laughs> Okay, let me show you. Oh, I forgot the hops. Wait, I wanted to put some of these in. Hang on, pull this back down. I did want to use these because I think they're cool. I think that's super pretty. Okay, up we go. Kind of wild and, and wacky. 
I love it. Okay, now let me show you how I did this pumpkin. See, these were, I believe these were $7.99, but they were 50% off this week, and it is wrought iron. So, and here is red pumpkins that I found in a Hobby Lobby, and they were $13.99, 40% off. 40% off. They have kind of an old rub bronze. And all of my hardware and my lighting is all old rub bronze. So there's a method to my madness. Sometimes they didn't have this in old rub bronze. So I just pulled out the wrought iron. Now you can see this has two holes in the back of it. So what I did was just take a pipe cleaner and I kind of bent it up. So when I went to feed it through, it would pop right up there. Just a little tip for you there. And what I'm gonna do is tie, this, tie it with the pipe cleaner right on to this holder. Just like that. And it holds it in place beautifully. It really does. It's very sturdy, very nice. Yeah. So again, as we go across, we're gonna go opposite of what we did on the other window. Have a little red cardinal. We have the milk glass candlestick and then the Pioneer Woman plate. And along with the little fairy there and the little blue ball. So yes, I'm very symmetrical. So there we go with the window. That's a pretty good shot there, you know. And it's just enough. It's just enough. That, that flower arrangement in the middle is nice and big and kind of flouncy and kind of crazy. And I love that. I think that's really cool looking. So that's it for my windows. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. I didn't even have to take anything away from my windows. That's key when it comes to deconstructing this stuff. Because when I deconstruct fall, yes, I'm going to put away all of my, red and, my blue and white stuff. I'm not going to be doing a blue and white Christmas. That would cost me way too much money and I've got way too much Christmas decor that I love. So again, that will be a complete switch out, a complete switch out. So all of this stuff will go away. The fall will be pulled out, be put back in the fall bins and the blue and white, I'll get new bins and we'll make however many bins I need to house my blue and white decor. So, or what I can't infuse in with the Christmas. It's not gonna be much, I tell you, I've got so much Christmas, it's crazy. So, but this is perfect for fall. This is perfect for fall. Oh, I do have this little red one. I forgot about this little red one. I thought I would just sit there. Hopefully, well, I can glue dot it onto the side of that vase if it doesn't, but just a little something, something there. All right, now let's move over here across the kitchen <laughs> to my Then Sings My Soul Lantern, and I'll show you what I think I'm gonna try to do with that. Okay, here I am across the kitchen. The windows are, are that way. And here is my Then Sings My Soul Lantern. All done up with the blue and white with a touch of red. And I do not want to take this apart. And I want to keep the ivy in it because there's ivy in my plates. You can see over here I have one of those plates on a charger. And I don't want to recreate a whole new funky bow topper for this lantern. It's just not necessary. An so instead of making an entirely new bow topper, I don't know whether you can even see this, but you probably can't. It's too hard to show you. But let me tell you, let me explain. For those of you who didn't see how I made this, I had this as two pieces of ivy, two tufts of ivy. And what I did, let's just pretend these are two tufts of ivy. I turned the stems opposite of one another, pulled them really close and just made, and, and kind of had one side sticking out this way and the other side sticking out this way and left enough room for my bow. So with doing that, I left myself a big stalk in the back that's kind of snugged up back against the lamp. So instead of, taking even taking this off of this lantern 
what I'm gonna try to do is just snug some leaves down in that, you know, behind that stalk and see if I can add some leaves and some of these, as Stacy says, hops and a couple of these red. I'll try not to get my head in the way here. I know I do do that sometimes. So I've got kind of a longer and a shorter. I think I would like the longer to come down and the shorter to kind of pop up in the back. So let me see if I can figure this out. I can go up with this one. See what I'm doing there? I'm kind of tilt, pull it, pushing it through the the bow loops. Love this. Easy peasy, you guys. You know. And I think that'll do it. Look at that. That's super pretty. Look at that. I like that. Oh my goodness, I surprised myself, you guys. <laughs> I like that very much. I think I need to change my batteries in this little candle here. It's out of, out of juice. Let me do that. And then I'll be back. And, we'll, and I'll answer some questions and do that little haul. I don't have much else to show you. Be back. Hey, Dickie, everybody. Here I am back at my island here, looking at my little creations, which I'm super happy with, especially that base that is so pretty. And the bow topper is a bodacious bow topper. Let me tell you something, adding that just that stuff kind of made it wow, kind of pop. So I will put, you know, some pictures, still pictures, or a little bit of silent video, just some music at the end here, so you can see where everything, how everything looks, you know. So, but I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out. Just a touch, just a touch of fall here in my kitchen. So what I have left to do in my kitchen is my three-tiered tray. So that'll be probably the next video. <laughs> but anyway, I wanna get on with this quick haul here, very quick, and then I'll answer some questions. I wanted to let you know, first of all, that uh, Miss Bobby, there with per uh, perpetualribbons.com, sent me a bit of ribbon the other day, just to show you guys, because she's excited about it, and she knows that a lot of uh, folks are loving the buffalo check. So, I wanted to show you this. She sent me a beautiful roll of buffalo check. Now, I'm not gonna make anything with this today, but of course I will make something with it, you know, coming probably with my Christmas decor. Uh, so I'll probably make something with it, with it there. She also sent me her card. So if you want to kind of just pause your screen and there is her pertinent information. You can give her a call or email her Probably it would be easier to email her so she's not inundated with phone calls, you guys. But there's her card. Sent me a bunch of her cards. So, and she wanted me to tell you that she said, uh, the cool thing about this ribbon is that it's high quality, it's double-sided, so it's easy to work with, and it has a classy look and feel to it. P.S. It comes in 20 yard rolls too. So for those of you out there who may be wreath makers and you might need this in bulk or if you're going to use this throughout your house, 20 yards if you're making funky bows will get you pretty far. So it is lovely uh, material. Let me cut it open here and let me get it up close to you guys so you can see it. Oh, it is lovely. It's lovely. 
so, and it is double-sided. And then she sent me a piece of another ribbon, which this would make one beautiful funky bow, you guys. She sent me this, look. And I think she knows I make funky bows. And look at, would that not make a beautiful funky bow for Christmas? Oh my heavens, is that not cute together? So I highly encourage you to go and check out Bobby at perpetualribbons.com. No, I'm not sponsored. She did send me this that I could share with you. And thank you so much for this, Bobby. And you know I will put this to good use. I promise you. I promise you. So I wanted to be sure and show this to you guys, though. It's just lovely. I may get myself one of these just to show you how beautiful a... Uh, a funky bow would be made out of these two. I mean, that would just be stunning. It would just be stunning. So, anyway, Bobby at perpetualribbons.com. Here I go with my lighting again. At perpetualribbons.com. Go check her out. Not her Etsy page. At go to perpetualribbons.com. You can save money by going there to her website. So, there we go. I wanted to mention that to you. I tell you, I love the ribbon I've gotten from her. I absolutely love it. So anyway, just a very quick haul here. A lot of this, some of this will go into my three-tier tray, so I wanted to be sure to haul it for you. I got two more of these. I only have two left, so I may put them in to my three-tier tray just to keep it here in the kitchen, you know? So I have two more of these, and I said what they, what I said, I didn't say how much, yeah, I did. $2.99, 50% uh, off. So I got these two. And then from Hobby Lobby, I got this to go in my three-tiered tray. Bless this home to pull in a bit of the red. This is metal. I don't know how much this was, you guys. It was not expensive. I think it was like 11, I wanna say 11.99, 50% off, 40% off. I never can remember, 40% off. It's 50% off at AC more though, I know for sure. So, okay, got those two. And then I just got from Hobby Lobby, I got an, another uh, couple of stalks of this, of these leaves to kind of pull that color into the kitchen. Two more stalks and then I got this little squirrel. Check out this little guy, look how cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We have tons of squirrels around here. Tons and tons and tons of squirrels. So anyway, so I think he's super cute. So he'll go in my three-tiered tray somewhere. <laughs> and then I got this. And I am going to figure out some way to attach this to, I think, the lower rung of my three-tiered tray. It's just a little, you know, again, I do things different sometimes than maybe other people might think. Some people might put think to put this like hang this by a shelf or, you know, by a, from a mantle or something like that. Oh boy, it's heavy. It's hard to get to hold straight. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Anyway, it says fall. I need about 50 hands. And that says, that's the other L, see that? <laughs> you can see the red and the burnt orange, and not really any blue, so to speak, you know, to speak of, but it brings in the colors of fall with adding a little red and cream. Isn't that pretty? So somehow I'm gonna manage, I'm gonna figure out how to, you know, my three-tiered tray, it has like, um, each tray has like a, a little lip to it, and I think I can tie wrap this nice and tight on to the lip of, around the front of it and have it kind of hang from the front. It's gonna be super cute. So. That goes with my three-tier tray too, which will be next in the queue. And then I did pick up from Hobby Lobby, I did pick up these two. Remember I had picked up the plaque? I think this is going to be what's gonna go in my powder room, y'all. So I picked up two along with the plaque and I think I'm gonna do my powder room around these somehow. <laughs> we'll see when I get to the powder room. But, and these were $9.99, 40% off. And then today I ran into AC Moore real quick. I had a $10 uh, gift certificate, if you're a member of their whatever club, 
you can get, I get a certificate every, I don't know whether it's like every quarter or after I've spent so much money or whatever for $10 off. So I had that. It was burning a hole in my pocket. So I went in there and I wanted something to go here in place of my birds that I have on my island. So I bought a couple of creamy white glass pumpkins. I have two to go right here on either side of the three-tier tray. So, and then I'm gonna keep my candles. I'm gonna keep my Florida Lee, you know, and my blue candles. So I think this will be pretty. I think these will be pretty. And then these little birds, where'd I put them? I already put them away. Oh, I took them into the dining room. Those little birds that I've been having sitting there forever, they're gonna get put, I have my, my stash of birds in my big hutch out there. <laughs> so they'll go and be put away for a while. So probably come back out in January. Anyway, I love these. So that's my haul. See, it wasn't too much. Just a touch of this, just I needed red florals. Trust me, you guys, I went downstairs uh, and I dug and dug and dug and I just didn't have a lot of red. I didn't have, I mean like the red. I had burgundy coming out my ears, but I didn't have red. I wanted like a true deep red. So I had to go buy some stuff. And you know, with having the $10 off at, at AC Moore, I got the hops, that's what I got for these. I did not get these from Hobby Lobby, you guys. I am fibbing, I got these from AC Moore. AC Moore, AC Moore, AC Moore. And then these little things I got at AC Moore. So that is my whole haul. There we go. And now, I'm going to do some questions for you guys from a QA. and a I don't know how long we're, we've gone here, hopefully not too, too long. Uh, and I can have a few minutes here to, to answer a few questions for you. I'm having a hot flash, can you tell? Check out those cheeks, they're about as beet red as these pumpkins. <laughs> oh, my land, woo! All right, I'm gonna give myself a cup of tea, like I need something hot, but I need a cup of tea, my, my mouth is dry. So I'll be right back and we'll answer some questions. All right, be right back. Okie dokie, you guys, I'm back and I'm sitting here with my stickies in front of me on my computer and I've blown it up really hot, really big so that I don't have to put my glasses on to read. Uh, I have th three questions, questions from three different people. One of the questions is, has two questions in it. So if you do not hear me answer your question here, that means that I probably haven't seen it yet uh, and I will record them I record them here on my stickies as I get them. So that means if I haven't spoken an answer to your question, it is either because I, it's probably because I haven't seen it. So here we go. Okay, this question is uh, from Catherine. I'm gonna butcher your name, Catherine. Malvi Hill, Malva Hill, maybe. M-U-L-V-I-H-I-L-L. Malvi Hill, Malvi Hill. Mal -V -Hill. Movie Hill, something like that. <laughs> uh, anyway, she says, can I ask you how you feel about yellow? Well, to wear yellow, I don't. I don't wear yellow. It makes me look green, honest to goodness. Maybe you might see something with a little bit of gold running through it on me, but you really probably will never see me in a bright, sunshiny yellow. Just, just don't care for it on myself. Uh, as far as decorating with yellow, I'm not opposed to that. Uh, I saw a lot of people this summer going for the lemons with buffalo check and that kind of uh, decor. Uh, I thought it was super pretty. Uh, it's not necessarily something that, that I chose to do because I was all involved with my blue and white, you know, decor. So that's not to say I won't do that, you know, in the future. I love the rich golds. Uh, at fall, I think the golds are super pretty. And I can see myself making a, a wreath, you know, like a sunflower wreath with black accents or something like that. I can absolutely see that for outside. I did a whole red and yellow uh, decor for my front porch last summer, which was beautiful and I loved that. Now that was a brighter yellow, I, it was a goldy yellow that I was using in there. So maybe I'll put a link to that video and the description, but 
I'm not opposed to decorating with it, I, although I don't do much of it, but I am opposed to wearing it because I don't look very attractive in it. In it. I look like the I would look like the I would look like the hawk in it, you know? I would look too green. It's not attractive. <laughs> so thank you for your question, Catherine. <laughs> Number two, uh, Babs Zingner. Zeigner? Zeigner, probably. Uh, what have you learned about people? since you began your YouTube channel, and what has gotten you through difficult times, like your mom's passing, for example? What have I learned about people? I've learned a lot about people, and I've learned that I have to thicken my skin, and I've learned that there are people in the world out there that I never realized existed, y'all that can say the meanest, most hateful things and not have a second thought about it. And the only reason they say it is to, to zing you. I have never in my life seen such horrible comments strewn at, as, at not just me, but at my other YouTube cre creator friends too. There are some hateful people out there uh, who don't skip a beat when they think they want to tell you how you should do this or you should do that or you look this. I will say, thankfully, I've never been attacked for my physical physicality, for my being overweight. I was really afraid of that uh, when I first started my channel. I was really afraid that I'd get attacked and thinking, you know, people would say, well, you're really, aren't you a sight? You know, can't you control yourself? That kind of thing. But I will say that nobody ever said, thankfully, I'm very grateful for that that nobody ever said anything as if my self-esteem wasn't low enough, isn't low enough, having to deal with, you know, every day, every day, every day. I've lost almost 80 pounds now, you guys. It's getting there. It's getting there. You know, but it's slow. It's so slow. It's so slow. You know, but that's okay. So I've learned that about people. In, on the other end of the spectrum, I've also learned about the kindness of people and how being kind can bring a whole community together and how having op an open heart and an open mind can make such deep lasting friendships. And you know, uh, I, I need to talk about the positive things that have come to me since I've started YouTube. Such love from my fellow creators and from you guys, from you, my subbies and from those of you who may not be sub subscribed, you know, I thank you guys so much. So, 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 so much. You make my day every day. Every day you make my day better. My day is enriched, enhanced, and absolutely, I am absolutely amazed every day at the kindness and at the love that you guys give to me. Gift me. G-I-F-T. Gift me. So, uh, and what has gotten you through difficult times? Your mom's passing, for example. Prayer, faith, a lot of prayer and a lot of faith, knowing, trusting, putting my trust in the Lord, trusting that he, he, his plan is always better than my plan. His plan is, is, is omnipotent and perfect. You know, what I want might not necessarily be what he wants for me, you know? I, 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 I never questioned why, you know, my mom got Alzheimer's, why she died at a relatively young age, you know, in her seven, upper 70s, but nowadays that's young, you know. Um, so I would say faith, my faith, you know. Uh, also, I would say when my mom was sick, Samson, Samson got me through a lot of those days when I would go visit her in the nursing home and he was a therapy dog, we're a therapy team, you know, and putting smiles on people's faces helped my heart to, to shine and to feel better, you know, and watching him put smiles on people's faces just made my day, you guys. I'm pointing because he's, of course, in his regular spot laying over here sleeping. <laughs> he's retired now. <laughs> There's no way he could do that nowadays, you know. He just doesn't have the, the strength. I was talking to Susan last week about 
her pup Bentley and Sam and, and you know the arthritis and how it's just raking their their sweet bodies you know so I would say that that's how I, I get through stuff like that Babs anyway I hope that answered your question <laughs> okay number three from Lindy Lindy L Y N N space D Lindy Lindy I don't know uh, it said uh, someone in the comments mentioned that you have a sister I was just wondering if you had any other siblings. I'd love to hear more about your whole family one of these days if it's not too personal. Maybe when you do another chat video. Uh, Lynn, I don't have sisters. I'm, I'm not sure who said that or where you saw that. And I don't have sisters. If you saw my videos with Stacy, she is my first cousin. Our dads are brothers. And I have a very large extended family both Stacy and I, though, are, are as close as sisters would be, I think, and uh, are, I think consider each other sisters, you know, uh, because we're very, very close. I'm very, very close with my extended family. Uh, I, but for my immediate family, I have my husband, Chris. We've been married for many decades, 30, almost 40 years. And uh, we have two daughters, Kristen and Candace. And Candace has a boyfriend, Dustin, and we have our new fee, Samson. So that's my immediate family. My mom, as you just heard me uh, refer to her, passed away of Alzheimer's back in 2013. And, uh, but my dad is still living and very healthy and robust at 83. He's doing great. And then I have many aunts and uncles and cousins who I am very, very, very close to. We're spread across four states. Uh, Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, and, and Pennsylvania. Uh, but we're very close, and when we come together, it's like no other. We're a large Christian family. We all sing uh, and harmonize with each other and all of that, and we love it when we get together and we can all just sit and sing and listen to my dad and his brothers play their instruments. A lot of us play instruments. Uh, I play the clarinet. Not well anymore. <laughs> Both of my girls play the clarinet. My dad plays a beautiful clarinet. One uncle who's passed played the trumpet. One plays the trombone and the other one plays the clarinet. So it's just a wonderful, wonderful family. Uh, my mom's side of the family live farther away from me, but I'm still, I consider myself still close with them. And you know, it's just, it, the family is everything to me. Family, God and family. So. There you go, that's a little bit about my family. <laughs> and I think that's it. I think that's all the questions I have for right now. And if I get more, I will try to put in a little segment at the end of some of my videos since I'm not commenting back to you. I love to chit chat with you, you know, uh, and let me take this moment to thank you all for all of your comments and your sweet, sweet hugs and love and prayers. I appreciate every single one of you so very much. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and to, I know I have another question. Hang on, I gotta back up. I gotta back up, sorry, I just remembered another one. I don't remember who asked it. Let me see if I can find it, I'll be right back. Okie dokie, you guys, I'm back here for a second. I actually found two more questions. <clears throat> sorry about that. So let me back up here and answer two more questions. <laughs> okay, uh, this one is from Ada Pickett. She said, I just was wondering, since you were answering questions, do you still get paid if we skip through the ads at the first of your videos and don't watch the full ad? Thanks very much, your heart and soul, for your heart and soul. She's so sweet. <laughs> well, Ada, no, I don't. Apparently, I've done some research since you asked me that. <clears throat> From what I can find, no. YouTube creators, if you skip the skip ads, we don't get paid. I'm not sure why they have the skip ads, <laughs> but regardless, no, apparently not. I really don't understand the ins and outs, y'all. I really don't, but I did research that, and from what I could find, no, we don't. That's not to say I expect everybody to sit and watch ads. I don't. I don't. I skip ads all the time <laughs> when I watch other videos, you know? So, no. And then number five. Oh, I didn't say who wrote this down. Who gave me this question? Ah! Okay, it was Judy uh, 
Bodner, Judy Bodner asks, how many times a year do you have 10 or more guests at your home at one time? And Judy, it just depends on the year. To be honest with you, I had over 40, around 40 in here for our family reunion one year. Uh, for Christmas, again, I don't have a huge extended immediate family. So my immediate family is uh, one, two, three, four, five, you know, plus my dad would be six. So, you know, when I just have my immediate family here, you know, and my side, it would just be the six of us. Christmas time, Stacy's family and my family, immediate families combine. And Stacy and I do a round robin. I'll host one year, she hosts the next year. This year, it's my year to host. And depending on what boyfriends and girlfriends come and all of that, it can be, you know, uh, more. So I would say Christmas, uh, usually we try to do something in the summertime for everybody. Uh, I don't know, three or four times a year. It just depends, you know. <laughs> it just depends on what's happening, you know, and through the year and, you know, to, you know, I, I, I would love to have 10 or more once a month, but you know, to get everybody together, it's hard, you know, with people working and that kind of stuff. But anyway, that is all the questions I have to date right now. So <laughs> with all that said, I'm gonna go ahead into my final words here. And uh, again, thank you all so much for coming. I already thanked you for everything, so I won't repeat myself there. I'll just go into my final words and say that I hope that all is well with everyone. And I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. Stick around. I'll put up either a montage of pictures or a last little video set to music and you'll get to see everything in, in place. And I'll probably take some pictures in the evening hours too, because it's kind of pretty in the evening. So with all that said, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.